All right, so here I've created a point object with an initial coordinate. Now, what if in our program, you want to have this rule such that when we initialize a point object, we should not be able to change the X or Y values. With this implementation, I can always come here and set point.x to a different value. How can we avoid this? Sometimes we need this feature in our programs because it will make them more predictable. It reduces the chance for bugs. So how should we prevent the coordinate of this point object to change after it's initialized? Well, in object-oriented languages, we have this concept called access modifiers. An access modifier is basically a keyword that we can apply to a member of a class to control its access from the outside. So in TypeScript, we have three access modifiers, public, private, and protected. Public and private are the most common. And by default, all members are public. Let me show you what I mean. So here in our point class, we have three members, right? We have two fields and one method. So when we create a point object and type point dot look, these are the members of the class. And because they are all public, we can access them here. And that's why we can see them in the IntelliSense. However, I can go here and prefix this field with the private keyword. Now, once we create this point object, if I type point dot, look, X is not in the list. It's not accessible. It's private. So if we try to set point dot X to three, look, we have a compilation error in TypeScript. It says property X is private and only accessible within class point. Now with this technique, I can go here and apply the private keyword on the Y field as well. And now once I initialize a point object, I can no longer change its coordinates. I can only call the draw method. Okay. So this is why we use access modifiers to control access to certain members of a class from the outside. You can apply these access modifiers on fields, properties, and methods. Now, by default, if you don't set an access modifier, it's assumed to be public. So here, the draw method, as you know, is public. I can also add the public keyword here, but this is redundant. It's just making my code noisy. So you don't really need to add this. It's better to keep your code short and clean and use the private access modifier only when you need to. Next, I'm going to show you one of my favorite features of TypeScript around access modifiers. Hi, thank you for watching my Angular tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with others. Also, you can subscribe to my channel for free new videos every week. This video is part of my complete Angular course with almost 30 hours of high quality content where you will learn everything about Angular from the basic to the advanced topics all in one course. So you don't have to jump from one tutorial to another. In case you're interested, you can get this course with a big discount using the link in the video description. And if not, that's perfectly fine. Continue watching as the next section is coming up.